here at We Keep Dogs. We're located in Spring, Texas, and right now I want to show you how to properly wash your dog. Right here we have Rocket. This is a beautiful brown dog. This is a Labrapoodle, Labradoodle, and he is extra friendly, but he needs a bath. So I'm here to show you how to properly take a bath with the dog. Alright, so the first thing I like to do is just brush the dog. I've already done this, so real quickly, especially when a dog with curly hair, I'm going to use one of these brushes here, it's like a slicker brush, and just brush the hair like so. Just making sure you take all those tangles and knots out of your dog. If you don't do this step, if you skip it, if your dog does have any mats or anything, it'll make it a lot worse. And if it's a really big mat, after you dry the dog, you will see that you'll probably need to shave the dog. So worth it to just take this step and just brush your dog all the way to get all those tangles and not and knock off that dirt so just like that tangle what you can do is just put a little bit of conditioner and a little bit of water and then uh, or if, even better if you have like some dematting or detangling spray you can just spray on that area. To wash the dog outside many reasons uh, just gives the dog a more relaxed feel it's a beautiful day outside it's pretty warm as you can see it is very relaxing for the dog instead of in a closed environment such as the bathtub and it's an easy cleanup so first I like to do is just spritz the, spritz the dog with water, very gentle. Give it a rinse, like that. And notice I'm not squirting the dog's face yet. I actually washed the dog's face last. Uh, just so I don't irritate the dog. A lot of dogs don't like their face wet. Would you like your face squirted with water? I don't think so. Nope, I don't think so either, Rocky. All right. <laughs> So what I'm going to use today is our raspberry shampoo. And I'm just going to squirt it. I put it in a squirt bottle, make it real easy so I can just squirt it on there. Easily distribute it around the body, all around, like so. Lift the tail, get the little hiney area. And then a little bit on the head, like that. All right, and then just start massaging this shampoo in. Got a really good lather. Just focus in one area at a time. Up and down, up and down. Nice little massage, not too hard. The dog muscles are very smooth and soft, not like our human muscles. We don't need like a huge, deep massage going in there. This is very soothing and calming for the dog. This is not painful. Knows the dog is not running away. He loves it. So this here is called Curry Brush. Uh, it is a Kong brand and it is a Zoom Crew. So what I like to do here is just, especially with this, it's a really good massage. It's, pretty soft and just work the way in the shampoo like so. So notice I'm getting a really good lather. I'm holding the dog too as well with the leash. It's easier to wash your dog with a leash, especially if you have a runner. All right, and then I work the way in with the paws.
stock it now and I'm just gonna let that marinate for about like a minute or two just so the suds can get into the skin you know penetrate towards the scat I'm just gonna just mist them just a little bit get it really soapy I like to get them really 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 clean because I wash them like one really really good time you don't want to like overwash your dog because um, it will dry the skin out and um, this one is a skin hydrant so it does have chamomile and oatmeal and some amino acids too as well to help keep that moisture in the skin and keep the, the coat looking nice and shiny all right these are all set so all you have to do now is just rinse them off so off here so I don't rub them add more soap and then what I like to do is just rinse off the top first and then rinse the back I'm still not rinsing off the face yet and then I rinse off the side as the soap travels down makes it a lot easier then I go upwards to get, this hair is going down this way, so I kind of want to get inside underneath all that hair, especially with the curly hair and longer hair. Little bottom here. Right. Rocket, you're doing an excellent job here. Excellent job. Excellent. Smelling very good. <laughs> All right. So very important to rinse all the shampoo out. Again, if you don't rinse all the shampoo out, then you know, it just stays in the skin and then also it creates mat. So that defeats the purpose. Again, you don't want any matting. Why? Because it's very painful to the dog, and then eventually you will have to get the dog shaved. So, if you want to make it mole rat, that's the way to do it. How's it been? Yeah, I'm just right behind you. Hi, Hi how's it going? Good. The Labradoodle. It's our friend Rocket here. Isn't he a cute dog? Really cute dog. Yeah, I love this color. It's beautiful. Aren't you rocket? You got a great dog. Alright, now what I'm gonna do is just rinse the face off. I'm not gonna squirt it in his eye. And I like using a hose like this. That way I can regulate the flow of water. I can just tap it gently once I rinse the face off. Be careful not to squirt the water inside the dog's nose. Don't want to waterboard him. It's all good. I like to just keep the hair out the face, out the eyes. Being careful not to rinse the shampoo inside the eyeballs. Don't want to irritate his eyes or anything like that. And there you go. Sparkly clean. And the final step is to get a good conditioner. What we're going to use is an a silk conditioner or cream. And while he's still wet, I'm going to soak him with conditioner. Right. Ah! Oh, there you go. There's some effects there for you. Yeah. And then top of the head. I think something got in my mouth. <laughs> Did you want me to taste conditioner too, Rocket? Right. And just work that in like that. And that keeps the hair very silky. It's the silk cream conditioner. Underneath the arms, 
around the private area in those crevices. And then a little bit of conditioner at the top. Hey, baby. This is also a good time to go ahead and pull those eye bookers out and all that good stuff. Get the chest. I just like to make sure he is nice and clean and conditioned. He's going to be smelling good all holiday. He's going to be a walking air freshener. Just watch. All right. Then with the conditioner again, I'm going to use the curry brush here and just work the curry brush through like that. This is similar to when you like condition your hair, ladies, and you have to rub the conditioner through. And you just comb it through like so. Look at those curls. They're coming in. Go rock it. You are grand worthy. All right. And just work it through. That way every strand can have a coat of conditioner in it. You have some fans here. Say hello, fans. Yeah. All right, he's going to do a little shake. We're almost done. It shouldn't take a long time. You don't want to prolong this process if your dog is feeling uncomfortable. But Rocket is really enjoying this bath. As you see, we have nice weather outside. The water feels great. Another thing is the water temperature for your dog. It's okay to wash your dog in cold water. It's actually better. Um, you don't want to wash your dog with like hot water. He isn't a human. They don't have the same skin as us. Uh, just cool water is perfectly fine. This is the Again, I'm gonna rinse here at the top. Just like we did with the shampoo. Working our way all around. Get it all out. And you want to make sure you get all the shampoo, all the conditioner, everything out. Especially with the curly hair dog. Like Rocky. All right, Rocky, let's get your booty. Don't want to shoot water up the butt. Shoot across the butt. Don't want to make it uncomfortable for him. Around the neck. Make sure you get the neck a lot of gunk there, especially with the collars being around. You want to make sure you get that and get that real good in conditioner, condition around the neck from all those collars there. Some dogs do have chafing there, so make sure you got a good condition there around the neck, on the paws inside. You're almost done, buddy. It's okay. Feeling a little breeze. The sun's going away. All right. So his body is all rinsed. Now all I have to do is just the head. And remember, I'm just gonna pull that hair back, clean out those little boogers right there. And just gently rinse them off like that. Good job, Rocket. All right, hold your head it up.
right. And it's semi dry. I let the dog do a couple shakes and I just dry the hair off like that. And this is the perfect time again to get those eye boogers out now that you got the towel. They're all dry. Right. Just use a circle motion like this and just dry them like that. Don't want to like dry too much like that, you know. I don't want to make the hair frizzy. So just gonna, you know, dry up and down the direction of where the hair is growing. He has really nice curls and I want to keep it that way. Chickens across the street, so Rocket's wondering what's all that clucking. Because we're in Texas, where you have chickens as neighbors. <laughs> all right, so I got like a semi dry and a nice shake. It's pretty damp, even with this small dog. I just like to use another towel too, as well. Another dry one. This is optional, I'm just being extra but I want to get him extra dry. Most dogs hate the blow dryer. Would you like air blowing in your face? I don't think so either at full speed. So I just keep them dry as much as possible. And then what I like to do is just take like a, a fan, put him in the crate, put a fan over him, and I'll show you in a video. And that way he can just do like an air dry. And then I'll finish off the last 25% of drying with the hand dryer. All right, there you go. You smell amazing. Mwah. All right, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.